The following video has been approved by the Jetty marketing team. The video has been rated Jetty. The following video may not be suitable for all viewers. G'day mate, welcome back to Creeper World with me, Jetty. And as you can see from the map already, I've played ahead just a little bit because it turns out I really, really, really like this game. At the same time, it seems you guys down in the comment section going off the last video really, really, really like this game as well. So um, I actually want to go back and I want to look at the map serious. And as you can see, I only achieved one of the victories on this one because it was hard. So we're going to go back and we're going to go have a look at serious again. And this time I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. Now, we have had a few new bits of tech that we've found. Uh, yeah. Uh, friends, our efforts so far have failed, but fear not the others have led you astray. Listen to them no more. The great flood of negativity surrounds us on this world. We've been brought here by a misunderstanding. We must work the, work the soil until we can establish a dialogue with its creator. The turp has been added to your construction menu. Use it to go show the others uh, our peaceful intents. Go in peace, traveler. Uh, okay, sorry, things are getting serious. Not sure if we'll ever get home. Uh, our objective is to nullify. We can also just activate the totems, which is what I had to do, actually, in my last preview, uh, my last uh, playthrough. And also, if we reclaim, i.e. kill off all the creep, we should be fine. So, uh, harmony uh, among brothers is required. Otherwise, the family withers. Mother can create harmony. Mother must correct mother praise be the founders yes fixing ada that sounds like a priority okay so we have a couple of little dialogues that pop up um so we have terrain that breeds creeper when covered with a creeper it will spawn more creeper this is can we get a click on this i can't get a click on this um i can't remember what this is called uh visibility uh Hide mesh. No. I thought it was called mesh. Uh, hmm, can't remember. Can't remember. Um, but this stuff is really, really nasty. As you can see, there is only a tiny bit of creep here. A tiny bit of creep here. A tiny bit in this corner and a tiny bit in this corner, but it's going to flood the map very, very quickly. On top of this, we have a spore launcher down this bottom corner. Spore launchers launch spores, obviously. Uh, the spores are not nice. They fly across the map and uh, there's two different varieties. One is leads to a whole pile of creep. Uh, the second one is like a... A ground-to-ground -ground missile, which is not fun to play with. Uh, so weaponry, we do have an anti-missile launcher. Anti-missile launchers require red R, uh, red on all, which is nice, but it's on the out outside of the map. And we just got unlocked and given to us a turp. A turp will let us terraform the map. So that is the plan for this episode, to try and terraform the map. Uh, but we need to start off with a starting position. Obviously, we're going to dump down our little tower, our, our, our little our lab right here because it's going to give us access to this ore which we should be able to start mining and that's going to give us a whole pile of power so uh yeah the turp can raise areas such as this build a turp nearby and then select the terraform button to paint the area actually we should go into terraforming really quickly so what i want to do is i want to slow down the the, the game okay we want to control c to copy that height and then I want to build that right across there and right across there to build in that gap. Do, if I can line this up, I should be able to just click and drag. Yep, line that up, uh, line that up and line that up. So once we get a turf up and running, we, it will automatically build this terrain up to full height to stop the creeper getting in. But we're going to unpause the game and bring in our little, I don't know, what is it? A lab? A riff lab. And we need this up and running first. This is going to give us our energy. And as soon as it's ready, I need to get a second one down. Uh, and this is going to be, it's as always with Creeper World, is a race against time because that stuff is multiplying. You can see there is a constant wave as it spews its way across the map. Uh, come on. Uh, first one. 
a second one. Uh, no, we can get a third one up and running. We're at a deficit again. Okay, at the same time, we're going to start stretching these across the map. Uh, oh, that's energy stores. I missed that entirely. That would have been so handy to grab that first. That would have let us rapidly expand. Uh, rather than going for the actual energy stores. Uh, the actual energy out of the ground. Uh, Alright, pause, 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 pause. I need a chance to pre-build. Okay, uh, rotate that, dump that there. Now we have access to those energy stores. We're going to dump those straight in there. We're going to... I managed to get my... I managed to cough. Um, managed to get my uh, pipette tool to work. Turns out all you got to do is... Oh, really? They're all off by a tile. Uh, destroy. 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 And destroy. Uh, yeah, it turns out what you got to do is hover over the building. And then press tab. Uh, there and there and I will even put down one there for one tile because every little bit of energy is critically important we want those in there we want those in there rotate you guys around and get those in there uh, we want one of those there one of those there one there and then drag along this side of the map Fill in every possible tile we can to maximize our energy. There and there, and then I miss one there. Okay, and then. Uh, we're gonna have a problem because that creep is already getting very, very close. Okay. I'm going to unpause, confirm, yeah, we're in a deficit, no, we're okay, we're in a deficit, we're okay, we're in a deficit, we're going to put down a terp, right there, they are very expensive, we also need a factory, so we can start processing some of these rarer materials that we're going to be getting our hands on, uh, and the other thing I'm obviously going to need is, oh wow, that took the deficit all the way up, okay, uh, turns out we can't build anything just yet, I need to spend a bit more time putting out some more pile oh wow that's a lot of creep uh. okay that's literally right outside our door uh, we want a mortar up there and I want some cannons down here and definitely want some cannons down here. Uh, and some cannons down here, it turns out. Uh, we want to hook that into there. And that into there. And that's already got one. Alright, Terp's gone to work. Started retrofitting that wall. We want to get some mortars around the top of the wall where we can. I do not have any aircraft yet. Uh... Or any aircraft. Ah, any spores, which are going to launch in one second. Of course they are. Alright, so we have some cannons that are hopefully... Oh, shit, I missed this one entirely. Uh, you, over here. You, also over here. Uh, mortars, there. Look at the waves in the background. That's when you know you're in shit. Uh, okay, so what we can... Oh, there goes a gun. Uh, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to pause real quick. Uh, I am going to pause so I can talk through things as they happen because Creeper World is uh, a lot faster than the previous games. Alright, what we can start doing is we can start making Blueite. Blueite is, gives us uh, this blue resource, which if we bring this up, we can see uh, blue goes into Anti-Creeper. Anti-Creeper should go into this building and let it pour Anti-Creeper over the edge. Uh, that should hopefully slow down this because i'd really like to get access to a refinery uh i'd really like to 
Sure, we can pretend that reaches. I'd really like to get access to this green R. Green R will give us... Bring that back up. Liftic. Liftic is going to require to get these uh, totems up and running. Okay, so I need another turp there, that's for sure. And there. And definitely here. Uh, we're going to put that... You know what? It's probably safest on the wall. Alright, unpause the game. Watch your energy, which is not going down, thankfully. Okay. Well, if it, you're not going to go down, we're going to keep putting more firepower on the walls. Uh, because we need to... Uh, nope, our use has gone above our supply. Slide you forward, slide you forward, and slide you forward. That turp is definitely working there. That turp's working there. That turp's working there. If we can close off the walls, at least that gives us a fighting chance. Uh, there we go. That one's producing anti creeper, which is going to flow over the walls and will at least help us out in this corner. Uh, I don't think it's going to do a lot more than that just currently, but, you know, we can hope. Uh, oh, okay, we can get some more of these around here. Obviously, we need to we need to get some guns, and we need to work on these corners, because I, if I can power this up, I have a shield. If I have a shield, hopefully that would push the creeper further back. Uh, this corner is actually looking really good with that anti-creeper. Okay, stop showing me the terraform. Oh, uh, excellent work, citizen. Now tune the terrain height menu at the bottom left of the display. Paint the terrain height with the area to terraform. Yes. Hold down shift when painting to erase if you want the terraform and go faster. Place more terps in range. Go in peace, Trevor. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, and cancel that so we can go back to normal view. No, they're still hard at work. All right, cannons. Cannons have... Cannons, cannons, cannons. Cannons can only shoot from some spots. As we can see, we have those little yellow dots. Yellow dots say where they can hit. And it turns out none of my cannons can shoot anything from up there. So I'm going to put our cannons here in the middle. Rapid response team. Uh, you two as well. Okay, that looks like it's clear. That's not very clear. Uh, we're going to have to start moving forwards shortly. Uh, and most of our energy creation is going into what little building we're doing and a whole pile of gunpowder. Uh, good firepower. Look at those waves. Yeah, when you see that, it's like, can we move forward? Actually, it looks like we can move forward here. Okay, so I want to get power down here. And then we'll take our rapid response team. And we'll fly them out to... That looks like a good idea until I saw those waves coming in. Uh, we'll select those, we'll create a squad, and we'll put them hard up against the wall. Hopefully they survive. And I'd really like to get access to this as well. Okay. Let's put some mortars along this wall. Because the red arrow will give me access to the anti-aircraft, which I'd really like to get my hands on. Because that is shooting right there. Uh, you, alloy. Uh, actually, no, you shot into any creeper, so it got taken out. It's fine. All right, push you guys further forward. Uh, how are those terps doing? They're not finished. That one's almost finished. That's half done. That's half done. That one is done. Okay, we're gonna push you over there. Uh, okay, so I want to go back in the terraforming menu. I want to pick a high point like this. Control C and five. Five doesn't look like a very good height. Is five a good height? No, five's moving that high point down. Uh, that's a seven. So I can see that down the bottom left hand corner. I can see that the height of that particular tile is a seven. The height of that one's a 7, so we're going to go back into terraforming. I want to drag that up to a 7. And then I want to paint 
this whole area, uh, those tiles actually, yeah, we'll just paint it horribly to start with, and then we'll go back and clean up after the fact. Do -do -do. Okay, so I want to clean up those tiles by holding that shift. Those tiles, those tiles, those tiles. Uh, that mess and that mess. And obviously the Terps can only work on areas where there isn't creep currently. Uh, why are you... Well, I guess you don't have to work on that little bit there anymore. It's pretty much done. Okay. Uh, they're almost done. As soon as they're done, we're going to pull them over and probably bring them over here as well. Because if I can get a wall in here, that would make my life so much easier. Uh, at the same time, we're going to push the, the things out. Uh, I need a response team of mortars, please. Like 10 of them, thank you. Just dump them right in the middle of the base. You're done. And you're done. Uh, same time, do we have pylons? We do have pylons. Okay, pylons are... They have a longer reach, but importantly, just as important, they have a higher throughput of... Uh, materials, I guess, is probably the best way of putting it. So, because I'm fighting out this corner, I'd really like to hook it up via a pylon network, so resources can get from either this machine here or from these guys here out to my guns faster. Uh, okay, so where are those terps? There's a terp. Uh, you can go... Can I fit you on the wall somewhere? Nope. Okay, you're going into the combat zone. You two are also going into the combat zone. Alright, we've pushed back the creep mostly in this corner. Uh, which has definitely got that up and running and being able to access the greener. Greener is going to give us... Oh, wow, the energy is so low. Oh, yeah. Low in a bad way. All right, so the green arrow gets us the lift it, lift it we can use to power up the totems, but that means we need to access the totems, which is a whole separate problem. Uh, also, I really want that red arm. All right, so after we push this corner out... Really, I need to get access, and I need to actually push the creep all the way back to the edge of the map. So maybe that's what we work on next. We've got this little corner nutted out. Uh, I need... I need to catch up on energy. That's what I need to do. Actually, you know what? Across the front of the base looks fairly safe. Maybe not on that side. Not quite on that side. Definitely on this side a little bit. Alright, so we're going to bring that gun down, park them there. Uh, the turps are slowly, you need to come down here as well and work on these walls. If I can get this leveled out and start putting guns on there, then maybe, especially if we can get this side done, maybe we can push back right the way through to the wall. Uh, but we're still at a deficit. Oh, wow. Oh, you got hit with artillery. Mm, you got hit with artillery. Uh, you there. You there. I needed guns to do this. I need to turn a phone to silent. Yeah, 11 p.m. My phone still goes off. Mute, please. No, mute. Thank you. I think that's mute. Yeah, that's mute. Alright. Uh, replace that. Replace that. Uh, probably put two guns up here. Uh, I can, and I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to swap some of these guys back to energy. I'm just not getting enough energy. We still have a massive deficit. It's it's these terps are also not helping. They use an awful lot of power. Okay, we're going to bring that mortar down to there. Uh, again, put in some more energy receivers. Probably pull you down as well. Sort of risky. Sort of risky. Okay. 
Are all those terps active? I think so. They're buried in so much creep. It's hard. To, uh, anti creep. It's so so hard to tell. Actually, they're buried in anti creep. So the anti creep is coming up here. It's pouring off, and it's basically filled up this this basin now. Uh, no, because I need the guns there to make sure it gets pushed back so they can finish the wall. Okay. All right. We're gonna bring you there and you there. We're gonna bring. You there. I was looking at taking the guns out. Uh, but now I can definitely put the guns right up on the front. They might take some damage. Sitting right up on the edge of the wall. What just went boom? Oh, I got hit with a... Ugh, again. Yeah, I need to... I need to grab this. And then we can set up our anti any aircraft. Uh, actually, what we might do is we might build one, two, three, four of those. Uh, not that we can arm them, but at least we can build them. Okay, put power up here as well. Uh, okay, so we're slowly pushed almost to the edge of the wall. I need to. If I can get a break in this stuff, it stops it stops duplicating the creep, and that's what we're really aiming for. Uh, like that. If I can keep it bare of bare naked of any creep, I can then start separating this creep from this creep and start working our way up to this corner. Uh, okay, so the terps are all done. Guns are hard at work. I'm going to spread that out. Put another gun over here. Alright, so I want to come to... What's the height of some of these tiles? That is a height 7 as well. Back to terraforming. Uh, try and line up the camera. And... Line the camera straight up down. No, I still messed it up. Get that in there. That in there. That in there. Okay, so then we're going to bring our terps over. And I'm going to park them on the edge of the wall. And that way, if they can see something and they can work on it, they will. Uh, oh. Well, it landed on a pile of anti-creeper. It's fine. Uh, put that there. Put that one there. Put that terp there and then grab our last turp and throw him over there all right uh cannons i'm gonna need a few cannons on this corner i just realized that's not quite wide enough to park cannons on ah it should be fine all right i need a couple of cannons on this corner and they're gonna have to be hard at work to make sure that creeper does not come this way and merge it turns out you didn't have power uh, same time, we'll throw some artillery back up. Uh, can I get another artillery? Nope. That power all has to go away. Uh, no, don't build one. Cancel. Oh. Oh, it's fine. It's going to be built right there on the edge of, edge of the wall. Okay, I want to grab another artillery and probably park him there. Move that cannon down to there. That looks reasonably safe. Ha ha ha, sure. Okay. But now I can start bringing out armaments this way. At the same time, we have our extra cannons in here, which I want to bring and park. Sure. All right, so I need to push the creep back and make sure it doesn't come back and touch this line again. So we're going to have to keep moving forward one little bit at a time. That's all covered in any creep. That's covered in any creep. Wow. They've been doing a decent job over here, actually. In fact, most of this is emptied out. Can I get a sneaky one in there? If I can access that, at least then we can get the any the any air up and running. Okay, we're gonna move you forward, move you forward, move you forward, move you forward, move you forward. Again, with you start bringing these guys up here that are obviously not doing a whole lot. Pop you over there. Pop you over there. We're going to try and clear this out in one giant hit. 
Uh, can I... Yeah, if I put you there, I can then steal you and bring you there. Cover this, obviously, to get more energy. Uh, move the mortar forward. Next mortar. The mortars do a very good job of area of effect damage, but they don't do a good job of clearing out like this. This very thin stuff. And this is why we bring the cannons along as well. The cannons do a great job of clearing out the thin stuff. Also, they're very tanky. So I can, I can put them in the creep. And they'll actually last a decent amount of time before they get blown up, obviously. Uh, we can put you there. We can charge you to... Sure. Start being super aggressive about this. Uh, that's a little bit of high ground. We'll move you up. Yeah, you got to get the stuff behind you. And you may die, because that's very, very deep. Uh, that goes there. That goes there. That goes there. 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 Can I get my uh, pylons? Bring the pylons with us. Because our supply route is not great. Uh, you've obviously taken some damage, so we'll use you instead. That one didn't survive. But if we put one there, maybe we'll get some luck this time around. We'll move you there. Move you there. Move that gun there whilst that one still heals up. Put that there. That there. That should give us... Do we have any? We've got plus 0.5 now. So we are bringing in some small amount of red R. Which now means I want to put my anti-missiles up here if possible. Uh, where's that one? Here, right there. And if they ever find any ammo, they can shoot. Uh, we'll put you out there. We'll take you. Put you out here. We'll take the turps. And we'll put them down here. Uh, that way they've definitely got range. We're going to put you there. You're probably going to take some damage. Again, move forward our line continuously. Uh, mortar there. Mortar there. And I want 100% extermination. I'm not happy with, happy with just setting up the totems. We're, we're all about, you know, it's us versus, versus the creeper. We want, we want total domination. 100% victory. jump forward to probably there. Your friend can jump forward to there. That mortar can jump to there. 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 Uh, you're going to take so much damage. Maybe not. Uh, hopefully our missile launches. Uh, control F. Shift F. There we go. Uh, that's bad if that hits. Uh, that one should be okay. That should land... Oh, there's one rocket. And the other one's going to hit successfully. Damn. Okay. Uh, no, the fact that the whole area was covered in anti-creeper definitely helped us out. Uh, speaking of anti-creeper, look at how well that is doing. Uh, let's put you there. Let's actually cover this whole area in pylons because we can... Uh, not officially moving forward on this front, but you know, if we can, oh wow, yeah, if I can get that one up and running, uh, oh yeah, and that one as well, see, the more creep I kill off, the less creep there is to duplicate on uh, this line, so by pushing one side, it means we can possibly get enough of the creep killed off around the map that we can get basically domination by just killing off what we have. Uh, that is... Yep, both those are joined together. We've already got both totems active, which means they both have shields up and running, which means we could move our guns forward and under the protection shields. Let's move you forward, you forward, you forward, 
Uh, let's move you forward as well. thick of it. Move that gun even more into the thick of it. We haven't lost anybody in a while. Seems like it's about time. Uh, nope. That one landed there without a problem. That one's right into the middle of it. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, and that was more, more rockets. Nope, they got taken out. Thank gosh. Alright, so now we've got this far, let's bring the cannons all the way up. Tower might have been a bit too far forward. Yep, it just went pop. Uh, but hopefully I can get a nullifier in here and stop that guy shooting. Which then means we just need to take out more creepers on the map. Uh, let's move you there. You're out of power. You have rounds in you, so I'll put you there. Uh, hook that up. Alright, whilst that's all moving along, let's bring... Let's start this corner. Okay, let's start at this side, actually. Alright, so that mortar down there. That mortar down there. That mortar down there. That mortar there. That mortar there. That one there. That one there. Nope, one of them didn't make it. Uh, you, fill a hole in the line. Fill a hole in the gap. In, 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 in. Oh, you also didn't make it. Uh, that's the second objective. Oh, they're really not making it. Okay, maybe we just stay under the shields then. Okay, maybe Chetty was a little bit too aggressive. Cannon can go there. Cannon can go there. Make sure you're all powered up. Those guys are holding that line. That's a lost cause. You can move under the shield. I'm going to put you under the shield, which is slowly failing. That is creep in under the shield. It's been pushed back slowly. Uh, yeah, the shield's not guaranteed. As the creep goes up the wall, it also slides underneath the shields as well. So, there is a certain risk. Ooh, That's gross. Uh, okay, so we're not doing so well on that corner. Uh, I need to make sure I keep bringing these pylons forward. Alright. Uh, we've obviously covered this corner. Uh, yeah, move the flying front line forward. Thank you. Yeah, I just heard one of them went pop. I didn't make it. Alright, let's just build some under here. Uh, that sounds like that's powering up. Yeah, it is. It is. The game is happy with the amount of creep we cleared off the map. Boom! Done. Okay, so that is this particular map in and done. As you can see, our little mortar crew has continued to push forward and clear out a good portion of the map. We didn't quite get all of it. Didn't quite get all of it, but you know, oh, it doesn't tell me how much of the map I needed. Uh, does this cover? Uh, creep has eighty percent. Uh, eight. Eight. 8% of the world, and I have everything else, so yeah, that's where I'm going to call it for this this video, uh, as always, thank you guys for watching, I do hope you're enjoying uh, as always, there is a link to Creeper World on the Steam Store down in the description below I can highly recommend this game uh, each map is 
generally your five to thirty minutes. Um, I could have got the first. Uh, actually, I should click that because the time is still going. Uh, so I got the first victory in twenty-one minutes, the second victory in twenty-three minutes, and the third victory in twenty-five minutes. So it is a five. Uh, probably, probably as the missions go on. So it's probably a fifteen to a forty-five minute map, and they do get a lot harder. Eleven hours. Damn. Damn, with 1,500 units. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, they do get a lot harder as the map the, the maps progress. Um, and yeah, I do hope you've enjoyed this video, like I said. And by all means, down in the comment section, tell me, do you want to see more? Do you want to see more? I'm happy to play more. Like I said, I have played ahead a little bit because I'm really, really enjoying this game. Anyway, all that said, I'm out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Bye.